What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Now Tekken 7 has brought in a lot of newcomers who want to get into the game, but they don't know where to start. In my opinion, you should start casually first before trying to get into the more advanced stuff right away. So I'm going to be teaching you how to play casual Tekken 7. Now Tekken may be the hardest fighting game to master, but it's definitely the easiest one to get into. So for this video, I'll speak to you as if you've never touched a fighting game before. I won't be mentioning anything technical like labeling the buttons as numbers or saying quarter circle or whatever. It'll be pretty easy to figure out movement on your own, so I'll just get into the basic buttons and what you can do with them. Let's begin. One thing I do want to say real quick though, because I've seen lots of newcomers ask this. Where's the block button? There is none. Just stand still and you'll block. And be sure to crouch too so you can block the low attacks. That's all. Do nothing. Alright, now for actual attacking, there are four buttons. The punches and the kicks. The left button and the top button are the punch buttons. And the right button and the bottom buttons are the kick buttons. <laughs> I say buttons a lot. But that is basically it though, those are all the attack buttons you need to know. Unlike something like Street Fighter, Tekken is more about skill than memorization. Since each attack button is mapped to a limb on the body, you can perform all kinds of different attacks without having to memorize any crazy combinations. Alright, now what you just saw was me standing still and pressing the basic attack buttons. But what happens if we start to experiment and press something different, like back in one of the kick buttons? Huh, that's new. What if we try forward in one of the kick buttons? Huh, that's funny. He did a little pose after the kick. I wonder if there's something else I can do while he's doing that. Oh! And it's not just one kick button that's like this. All the attack buttons can do this. Depending on whatever direction you're pressing, an attack will change. So start experimenting and trying different things. Since each character has nearly a hundred different moves, each experiment you come up with is likely to yield a different result each time. Tekken is a very creative fighting game, so even the most absurd button inputs will show something new. Like back, forward, triangle, square, triangle. Who would casually think to press that? But it's a move. So just keep exploring whatever character you choose and eventually... You may come across a move that knocks them way up in the air. And if you think about it, they're up there for quite a long time. They can't really do anything to defend themselves while they're in the air. So, keep attacking! See if you can catch them with your punch as they're falling down. Now practice for a bit on catching them out of the air and see how many punches you can time before they hit the ground. It's kind of like juggling like a clown. And that's the only technical term I'm going to mention because this actually is called juggling in the game. But once you do get the hang of this and start getting the timing down and everything, you can throw in some of the moves that you experimented with earlier to see what works. And voila, you've created your own combo. You might even be able to find certain moves that can extend your combo even further. Now in Tekken 7 there's this new ability called the Rage Art which can be done with a simple tap of the shoulder button. It's basically a super move and you can use it whenever you see your character flashing red. And one of the coolest things about these super moves is that you can actually use them mid combo. So see what you can get with the combo you created. And this is basically everything you need to know if you want to get started as a casual player. Keep practicing until you get super good and then you can try the more extreme stuff. For now, this is Leopold the Brave, signing out.